Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defence Universe, getting you live from the offices of MBDA in Delhi, the European company, which is basically French but doesn't say that. It says we are European, which is a wonderful feeling to have. But today we are meeting here for a very special occasion. The countdown to the Bastille Day Parade in Paris has begun, and this year is a special year for us Indians, as the Prime Minister Narendra Modi is going to be the guest of honor at the parade at Champs Elysees Arc de Triomphe. And here we have with us Ludwig Dumont, who is the Delegate General of MBDA in India. Welcome, Ludwig, to ADU's chat room. So wonderful to have you here. Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome in our office. Welcome in, in MBDA India Private Limited. And uh, wonderful to see an ex-Air Force officer who was also from the Special Forces, had, has great experience of being with the forces in all crises as well as peace situations and also who's done his NDC which is a National Defence College at New Delhi in a joint forces environment. Ludo, wonderful to have you here. Friends, you should all know that he's very fondly called Ludo in India. So how is it, how does it feel to be a part of a country which is now going to celebrate its 25 years of strategic partnership with your home country, France? It's a, as you said, it's a fantastic occasion. It's a fantastic occasion because uh, France and India have been partners, have been side by side, uh, I would say for the last 70 years. Uh, even uh, just after independence. So, to be here in, in India right now uh, to celebrate this anniversary, which has been, uh, uh, which, is, uh, which is celebrating the uh, partner, uh, global partnership about the, all the strategic interest. And I've been here for the last seven years and I've seen the development again and again of our relations. So, to be here and to see the Prime Minister going for the second time to France, it's an honor and it's a pleasure. It's uh, sorry, I, I just wanted to continue because you said that I I, I met sometimes in, in India and I cannot resist just to show you that I'm very proud of my years before in National Defense College because I've here most of my course mates who are now at, at good posting in the armed forces but also civilian service and it's a good pleasure to. Uh, to meet them regularly and to uh, to have some celebration with them for the next few days. That's wonderful, absolutely, Ludwig. But one thing which we really want to understand from you is that India and France with a long story. And uh, what is the story? Where does MBDA fit into that story? MBDA finally is part of this story from the beginning because it was many times mentioned that India has uh, acquired some uh, uh, aircraft from Dassault, from the Tufan. But you can imagine that for now more than uh, uh, 70 years, we have been on board of this uh, aircraft. So MBDA and India, it's, I would say it's a long uh, partnership and even I would say love story. In a sense that we have, been, uh, uh, we have been involved in the equipment of the three services all along the year. So, it's not a discovery, and we'll come back on it later about the Make in India, but we have not waited for these last few years. We have been involved in the, uh, I would say, scheme of the industrial tissue in India. And, uh, you know, when France began with this relationship with India, when put, this was post-India's independence, Oh, how did it grow? How did this relationship grow with the three forces, of course? And I'd also, also like to understand that whether this was also a part of the paramilitary forces in addition to, of course, the geopolitical uh, friendship which has happened all over the years, which has affected the strategic friendship. I would say I, I will not be able to trace all the examples about, about what we have made, but I would like maybe to underline one, one of the, I would say, most illustrative example that we have, which is the equipment of the Indian Army. The Indian Army have been equipped with some missiles in the past, like SS-11, but a little bit uh, later, uh, it, has, it has been uh, done during the last, I would say, maybe 20 years, uh, we have been working with BDL uh, on the Milan. Milan is the French missile origin, 
And just to give you an example about what we did with BDL, the Indian industry has produced in India more than 43,000 missiles. If you compare this to the French production, which was around 5 to 8,000 missiles, is just a very good illustration of what we did in India for many, many years. So we can extend this comparison also with the Air Force because, of course, we have been on board of the Mirage, we have been on board of the uh, other aircraft before, before the Mirage. But finally, the armed forces, they know MBA, they know our materials, and right now, the evolution is that they will integrate our, I would say, structure, our technology inside Indian industries. And of course, Rafale, which is so full of MBDA, is, you know, it's MBDA has now become a name which is common to even the common man. Because earlier, everybody knew Rafale, but then, you know, suddenly they saw that picture, which is beautiful with all the missiles on it. And then, you know, people that quirk, little query started coming up. Are these made by Rafale? No. So we had to tell the, our readers, so they're made by MBDA, which is another European company. How does it feel to have been part of this Indofrain journey? So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a proud, I'm proud, it's a proudness to be, to be part of this. I just come back on what you say. Uh, we mentioned it before, but uh, it's very useful to just to uh, remind it. Here in India, I will say I'm not only French. I'm the representative of MBDA. MBDA, it's uh, it's a fusion of several companies, which is initially was Matra Aerospatial, uh, British Aerospace, and then it has given MBDA. So I'm representing today. The same, I, I have the same, I would say, uh, uh, task to represent UK, France, Germany, Italy, and Spain. Of course, today we are focusing more on the French, I would say, framework, French side, because, uh, as we mentioned before, this is the 25th uh, uh, anniversary of the French, uh, Indo, Indo French uh, strategic partnership. and. It is focused more on the visit of Prime Minister Modi in Paris, but it's good to remind that we have been part of this relation being a European company. It means that other, our company from UK, Germany, Spain and Italy can provide also some knowledge, some technology to India. Coming back on, on the French side, uh, as I said before, we have been part all along the years of the equipment of the Indian Armed Forces. So it goes from some equipments like the uh, Magic One, Super uh, 530 for the uh, air-to-air missiles. It has been the Milan for the Indian Army, as I said before. Uh, we have been also on board of uh, submarines for the Indian Navy. So we are really, I would say, strong and very close partnership. Well, that was wonderful, Ludwig. And I want to now understand from you, with just a day to go before our Prime Minister moves ahead to Paris, what do you expect out of this visit or what do you actually expect to emanate once the two leaders meet and uh, you know it's very exciting everybody wants to understand but we'd like to understand from you you know finally we have the same expectation all of us we have the chance between india and france to have some strong relationship as i said before from very long time and we have the chance even more today to have our two leaders the prime minister modi and the President Emmanuel Macron to be very well connected. So, of course, we are expecting some uh, announcement to develop this partnership in defense. So, everybody is speaking about, of course, the uh, Rafale Marine, maritime version of the Rafale. Some other people are speaking about uh, submarine Scorpion. We are on board of these two platforms. So, of course, we are looking about that. But first, what I would like to say is that we used to never comment, I would say, a sovereign, a sovereign decision. So let's wait and see what Prime Minister Moody himself will announce. We are just following this. The thing that maybe I can just uh, underline is that, of course, the Indian Navy is waiting for, for his future aircraft. And I had the chance for the last Varuna, 2019, to go uh, on board of the Vikram Aditya and to make some partnership with the Black Panthers that I would like to salute because they are my comrade, uh, combat comrade, I would say. Maybe I will uh, just show you just a few 
uh, things on, uh, on our office. It's just a reminder of uh, my boss came here uh, more than 10 years ago for the uh, Mika, Mika contract on Mirage 2000. So it's good also to have some uh, testimony of the past. And of course, you can see that I can buy also on the airbase on uh, Indian Air Force with the Welfare Association. Every time I go on an airbase, I buy something. Maybe we can continue this and uh, I will wait for your next question. <laughs> Yes, absolutely, which is, you know, going to be very interesting as to what happens when Prime Minister Modi reaches there. But what actually does the French uh, government expect? Do they expect a lot of announcements? What is, what is the buzzword in France? We know the buzzword in India. Mm -hmm. What is the buzzword in France for this visit? I think, uh, truly speaking, I think the French, they, they expect more partnership. So, of course, it can be through some contract, but I really believe that the most important is finally not especially the contract itself. It's more about the global picture that we, we are going to reach, in the sense that there is some common materials. So, with these common materials, we will have some common training, we'll have some common understanding. So, of course, today, as MBDA, because I'm representing MBDA, we have to be on board of this contract if it's announced. We have to work, especially in the framework of the Make in India, the Atmanir Barat. Uh, Bar then we have worked for so many years in India with some Indian industry that for us, I will not say it's easy, it's a challenge, but it's a normal way to continue business and also partnership. Wonderful. And you know, Ludo, at the end of the conversation, I'm so happy we could come and talk to you because, you know, we have always, always in India associated so well with MBDA and its French connection. I, MBDA always wants to say it's European, but we've always had that soft <laughs> feeling for MBDA being French. It started <laughs> as a French company and of course, it's just wonderful. And uh, at the end of the day, when we have some announcements in, Par in Paris uh, in the coming days and uh, with your nation celebrating its national day, uh, in India, what do you think the mood and the spirit with the French community would be like? I think it would be good. You, see, you know, when I, when I have received on an airbase in France uh, some Indian Air Force contingent uh, to make the Garuda exercise, it was a fantastic, I would say, community, a communion of spirit, a communion of, uh, I would say, friendship. So I guess it would be the same. I had the chance to, to look on the TV the real soul of the Indian troops on the Champs Elysees, and it's fantastic. We'll have the chance within two days, within three days, sorry, uh, to see uh, the Indian Rafale uh, just over flying the Champs Elysees, also in part in uh, in patrol with uh, with the French Rafale. It will be a fantastic thing. And uh, you know, we at ADU are going to be there to cover the parade live and to cover the two leaders live and to see these Rafale flying live above us. It's going to be a great experience. Thank you so much, Ludo, for being a part of this conversation. We're looking forward to talking to you again. Thank you so much, Sangeeta. And I will just finish with one word. Jai Hind and vive la France. Wonderful.